Uh, hello Heroku, my name is Antoine, I'm one of the engineers here at SNCC. I'll show you today how to install the SNCC add-on onto your Heroku applications. SNCC enables devs, security engineers and organizations to stay more secure by checking for known vulnerabilities in the open source dependencies that you may be using in your projects. SNCC tools come in various flavors to be used in some or all the places of the SDLC. We can test the dependencies in services such as GitHub, GitHub Enterprise, and other source code management solutions, in deployed code such as in Heroku, as we'll see in a minute, but also serverless environment like Lambda functions. Snake is also available as a command line interface, very easy to use, as you can see here, um, usually on your development machine and or in your CI CD pipeline as a test in your build process. You may choose to break a build depending on how stringent you want to be about security. Finally, a set of APIs can be used to integrate Snake and its reporting into your existing tooling and dashboard. Today, we'll take a look at a few Oracle applications, listing them here using the Oracle CLI. I'll focus on that one, and for which I will want to use the add-ons create command to install the Snake add-on using the free plan here. Tying it to my application. I take note of the instance name. If this is something that I forgot the first time around using the Heroku add ons, I can list that again. And for the next application, I will want to deploy this on. I'll use instead of create this time the attach command, instance name, and the name of the application here that I want to deploy it to. The free plan comes in with 20 tests monthly. The business plan comes in with 500. By test, we refer to the scan of your application for every deploy and once every day. Each count co counts towards your quota. To upgrade plan, you can use the Heroku add-ons upgrade commands, this time to the SNCC business plan, for instance. The $119 per month charge will be processed via your Heroku account. Now let's take a look at the results. Again, using the Heroku, this time open command, I'll use the snake to be able to take a look at the results. So I can see my application here it doesn't seem to be doing very well. 28 vulnerabilities listed out of 430 dependencies. Looking at the filtered dependency tree for the dependencies carrying a vulnerability, I can see that JS has a high severity here and it's a direct dependency and I see some others have dependencies that are more in the transitive dependencies of a given package. Uh, for instance, negotiator here appears a couple of times. The point of six version is a version that is uh, fixed. So to be able to have this issue fixed, you will need to make sure you use the right version of express that uses the right version of accept that uses a fixed version of negotiator and similar concept for error handler here. Looking at the issues more specifically, I can see uh, a few different severities, high severity, medium and low. High severity is something that classifies vulnerabilities that are considered high impact and relatively easy to exploit. I can see code injection here through the direct dependency .js. Um, the upgrade seems to be the path forward. Uh, the popular markdown package marked uh, has a couple of cursor scripting apparently here. Uh, again, a direct dependency and an upgrade seems to be doing the trick. Prototype provide protection bypass is a bit more cryptic and this time this is through the popular query string parser QS, uh, which is an indirect dependency here, introduced via Tap, Express and others, uh, apparently body parser. Uh, let me dig into this issue a little bit more. So. Clicking about more about this issue takes us to vulnerability database, where uh, this is a page that is open that you can access today. No need for a sneak account. And you can see the list of um, impacted versions. Um, sounds like our team found that one. Uh, there is no CVE associated, but there is a CWE associated. Um, most of node applications and node vulnerabilities have very few CVEs associated. And looking at the details, I can see that uh, indeed the exploit seems to be pretty straightforward, uh, which means it's something that I want to uh, definitely want to fix. Uh, the disclosure timeline is something I like a lot to look at. It gives me a very good sense of the health of the package. Here from 
the issue being disclosed to having a partial fix out in three days, it's pretty fast around. Give me a good sense that uh, the package owners are, are like concerned about security uh, and it's something they make sure to fix very quickly. Uh, less than a month later, a final fix was provided. So it gives me a really good sense of the overall quality of the, the solution, which is great news since I'm using this package. Um, the remediation seems to be an upgrade to 6.4.0, um, so I know what to do now. I can take a look at my list of projects as well. I can see the other applications we uh, included earlier. I can take a look at the report in a very similar way. If you need more details about the add-on itself, you can use the add-ons docs snake command. It will take you to the description page or you'll see a reminder on how to use the commands, how to upgrade the plan, virus, language support, and so on. Thank you for watching and stay secure, my friends.